Hey guys, Rush G here. How are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. I've got some really cool tech for you today. This is about the Like It Tattoo into V Trigger 1 activation. It's been covered many times before. You probably know the BMBs when it comes to what you do on block and on hit. Um, but this is about the trade situation and we spoke about this before and I've always had the, the um, perception that if you get a trade, react to the trade and do CA. So you have to have obviously V-Jigger 1 and full stock of CA, full stock of um, EX bar to get the confirm off the like it tattoo trade. Well, I showed in a stream not too long ago where you can OS the CA regardless of the results and if you get a trade, the CA connects. If you get like it tattoo into VTC on block, the CA does not come out. And if you get the VTC into V trigger one on hit, again, the CA doesn't come out. So there's three situations you've got to be aware of, but you're covering the one situation by OSing the CA. That makes sense. So you've only got to really focus on what to do on block and on hit. And those are really easy to recognize because you've got more than enough time to react to that based on the time you have when Ken does the activation and he does that. During that time, you're looking at whether it's on hit or on block. Um, so this is what the input looks like. So you guys know what like it tattoo into VT1 looks like, but when you do like it tattoo into VT1 activation, this is what you want to do after you activate. Now my inputs aren't super clean, but look what I did there. I did like it tattoo, I did the V trigger um, activation, and then I buffered, well I didn't even buffer, I just did the hit the CA. As you saw there, the CA didn't come out. Now in a trade situation, the CA does come out. What I'm trying to tell in this video is, when you've got full stock on meter, and you go for like it tattoo VTC, whether it be on wake up, or whether it be in a situation where you know you can challenge the opponent's pressure to score a trade, or possibly even get the like it tattoo VTC um, input CA, Something else I do every now and again, and it's worked quite a few times, is I like to do with Ken, dash up, like it tattoo into VTC. It, it's it's a little cheeky, um, but think of it this way. Ken's dash is 15 frames. His like it tattoo is three frames. That's an 18 frame sort of like charge in and then attack. It's the fastest dash in the game. The, I used it against Problem X and I used it against, I think it was a Geef, and both times it hit. It's very rare that I go for this. Um, and even on block, to be fair, you get plus frames, so it's not it's not a complete waste. But I've actually surprised people by rushing in with like Itatsu into VTC, like just in neutral, and it's sort of, it just feels good as well. Uh, we digress. But what I'm saying there is if you do the dash up like Itatsu VTC and you get a trade for some random reason, again, OS the CA, where you've got CA, it's really good. Again, like I said, it's quite high level in concept, but in actual practice, it's really easy to do. Just practice that input. That input you see on screen now, just practice it. Right, so let me show you first. Um, on hit, you don't need to know this. You already know this, but on hit, if you get like it tattooed VTC on hit, oops, that's not hit, that's block. <laughs> on hit, go for your regular follow ups, react to the hit. That's the most common option that you go for. So on hit, you can see the opponent gets launched into the air during the activation. Just confirm the hit into your, your regular combo. If you haven't got um, any EX bar, heavy punch DP. I think if you're near the corner as well, then you know. Oops. You get light punch DP into Heavy Punch DP. I don't actually know if you get EX Fireball there. Why not? You don't. Okay, that's fine. Well, that's that's a normal. We've covered that many times before. You know that situation. What about on block? On block, again, you guys should already know this. It's now plus two. You're plus two. So even if you got access to a, a three frame, you can do um, Sound Light Punch into back medium punch. So if I set Nash now. Um, I don't actually know if I've got it recorded, let's see. Okay, so if I set Nash to jab, um, you can frame trap there. Against three framers, you want to go for a three frame yourself. Oh, sorry, your jab. Against four frame characters, you can go crouch and medium punch.
So again, we're just going over the, uh, the basics with the VTC off the Like It Tattoo. So again, you'll be using this predominantly on wake up and where you're challenging pressure um, and you know you can possibly take your turn back. Now, this is the important part of this video. I've set Nash to do, let's cover off what's going, what's going to happen now. He's going to do Light Kick Moonsault, which is plus one on block for Nash if I'm standing. Now, plus one for Nash, and then he's going to do a four frame jab. So remember, Ken cannot press four frame there because Nash is one frame ahead. So his four frame will beat my four frame by one frame. I'll lose that exchange. However, if I do like it, Tatsu, situation changes. Like it, Tatsu, I'm one frame behind, but my like it, Tatsu is three frame start up. Nash's jab is four frame start up. So a light attack flashing with a special move. I think it goes for any attack, so light, medium, heavy. If a light, medium, or heavy clashes with a special move, you get a trade. There's no priority there. So the like it tatsu will trade with the jab. So we get that trade situation that we're talking about in this video. But what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna do like it tatsu VTC to um, cover off the situation where Nash goes for a slower button. Say if you press the five frame there after plus one, my like it tattoo would actually hit Nash because it's quicker than the, the five frame he has. If he has, if he's got a five frame, I'm just talking theory here. I'll get a like it tattoo on hit into light punch DP EX DP because he's doing the jab the four frame. My like it tattoo will not beat the four frame; it will trade. And because it trades, and I'm buffering VTC, that the VTC makes sure the like it tattoo is safe on hit or on block. I won't get a situation where I'm unsafe. But again, become trading, the VTC will not come out. And obviously, as you know what I'm alluding to now, I'm going to buffer, I'm going to do the OS into CA. The CA will connect. I haven't reacted to it, I've just done the OS and it works. This is really, really good tech. And I think everyone should try and add this. Where your execution is good, you'll probably see, see me mess this up a few times now. Still learn this, it's really powerful. You just got to understand the situations where you can use this. There's many plus one zero on block situations you can use this but you've got to recognize them by labbing the characters or on wake up on wake up we do like it tattoo to challenge um, badly timed meaties or delays so it also works there but we're simulating an actual situation in match now where um, a four frame character is plus one and are trying to continue pressure i can use my safe like it tattoo vtc option with the caos to possibly steal a turn and get big damage so let's see that now in action. That's all the theory. Let's show you in action now. So, um, yep, yeah, so let me just show you what Nash will do. The Moonsault, he's plus one. Even though it says I'm plus three, after he recovers, Nash is plus one. On standing. And Block is plus two, I think. Yes, see how he's doing the light, the Moonsault? Yeah. Now watch this. I didn't react there. There is no reaction to the trade. I'm literally just buffering the CA, regardless of the outcome. And that will work every single time. And if, I'll be honest, people won't even know what you've done. They'll just be like, how the hell did they do that? It's an OS. That's all you need to know, it's an OS. If I record Nash now doing some fake pressure, So I do, so plus one to stand heavy punch. Don't ask me why I'm, I'm selecting that option. I just know this will work in terms of what I want to show you. So let me show you that again. Plus one, oops, yeah, that's because of the block stun, isn't it? Okay, let's try that again. Plus one to stand heavy punch. Now, I don't know what the gap is here, but I know it's not frame tight now. If I do the same sequence again with the C8 OS. Oh no, I didn't do the OS. Try the OS again. Oops. Why is the VTC not doing that? Okay. 
messed it up a few times. That's that's because I am rusting myself with this. Okay, you can't see the like it tattoo. If you look at the inputs on the left hand side, underneath the heavy punch and heavy kick is the like it tattoo. So I did like it tattoo VTC. The VTC hit this time, as you saw, because the gap was not tight. Nash created a delay between the plus one situation into the heavy punch. There was a big gap there. I mean, he didn't do a delay, but there was a big gap he created. Fake pressure, as it's often called. See how I did CA? I did the quarter circle forward, quarter circle, quarter circle forward kick. It never came out. But on hit, because I recognized the hit, I was able to confirm it into heavy punch um, DP. That's basically what this tech is about. So let me show you that again now. I'm gonna put both options on, okay? Let's see what happens. You just gotta practice the inputs. I'm not that hot on the inputs because I haven't loved this that much, but you do like your Tatsu, BTC, CA. When you've input, put input that, you then look at what's happened and then react. If it's on block, you get plus frames. If it's on hit, you get a combo. You need to confirm those two things. The CA will come out if you get a trade. Okay guys, so I'm going to put the two options on. I'm gonna put the light moon salt into heavy punch is the sort of fake pressure to catch to catch like delayed buttons or something like it. basically so Nash can sort of um, get a bigger reward off the plus frames but it does come at a risk because he's leaving a gap and I'll also put the option where Nash goes for the frame type pressure into jab to essentially it should always cover Ken pressing a button unless he goes for EXDP but we're going one step above that and we're going for a three frame trade situation to take the turn back and score big damage so it's an option that most people won't think about um, but it only works like I said Ken has VT1 stocked and CA stocked so the exercise is we do the like it tattoo VTC into CA OS practice that sequence the muscle memory the one thing I say is hard about that is it's a very quick input sequence you're basically doing like it tattoo into VTC which is that's the easy part then you're doing the CA and I'm not very good at doing this just yet because I haven't labbed the muscle memory. So you must lab this over and over, get the muscle memory down to add this to your sort of game. Uh, on hit, we will, where if the Nash goes for the, the, the pressure with the gap, we will do heavy punch DP two hits to the CA. This is not an easy drill to do, but the concept is easy. Does that, does that make sense? So um, that's why I say that everyone should learn this, no matter what rank you, well, I think where you're competent with Ken, you should add this to your game. Is what I'm trying to say. So this might be a bit messy. I'm not going to talk. I'm going to try and focus on getting this down. It's like a training exercise for me. So there will be a few blunders, but let me just show you what the training exercise looks like. So that's the gap, the large gap. That's the frame type pressure. Let's go. I messed it up already. I'll get my tattoo. CA didn't come out. CA didn't come out. Right, so I did the CA because of the hit. The CA didn't come out. And I confirmed it to heavy punch DP CA. Too late on the tattoo. That's the OS. No brains there, just inputs. Again, on hit, CA didn't come out. Confirm the hit. Okay, I did the CA timing a bit bad. OS again. That's the easy part. Alright, so you can see there, the reason why I'm missing the CA is because I'm, I'm not cleanly inputting CA after the trade, so just practice the input, the muscle memory. Didn't get the VTC. What? Mess up the CA input. That's what we want on hit. So far, so good. Yep, we're gonna roll now. Try and get one trade. 
Ah, um, see, I messed the CA, the CA again. It's really tricky to. This doesn't feel natural to do that. Nice. Ah, there we go. Now, I apologize, that looked a bit messy. It was messy. Um, it is all about practice it. So, you have to, this is the input you need to practice. It's. Look at how messy that was. Sorry. That's what you need to practice. Like it's tattoo VTC into CA. That's the input you've got to practice. It's, um, it doesn't feel natural to me at all. It's do it's it's going from VTC to CA. It just feels weird. That's the key to it. Once you can, ma once you master that input, the like it's tattoo VTC into CA in that situation. Once that muscle memory is built to do that, you'll be fine with this tech. But honestly, you've got to do. So I've I've barely practiced this in my spare time. So I understand the tech, but I don't have the muscle memory down. You have to do this, like like anything in Street Fighter. You've got to do this literally like a hundred, two hundred, three hundred times over. You know, over a number of days. And eventually, your muscle memory will be so crisp with it, you won't even have to think twice. That's how that's how you cleanly add tech to your game. You know what I'm saying? Because that's it. It's been, it's been a bit longer than I planned this video to be, but it's quite an interesting topic, hence the, bit, the, the more time required to explain the tech. So just to recap, it's like you tattoo VTC. We can all do that, either on wake up or to take your turn back during pressure. You have to be point blank though, that's the one caveat to this. You must be point blank. If you're at range, this will not work because you won't get the VT1 uh, activation. Uh, on hit, go for your follow up combo. The easiest, easiest combo to do is light punch DP, EX DP. If you've, got, um, if you've got the muscle memory down, do heavy punch DP into CA for optimal damage. It's not great damage because of the VT cancel, but it's better than nothing. It could close out rounds. On block, plus two, so you get frame. You get frame um, advantage, you get frame traps. And as long as your input is clean, when you do the like it tattoo VTC into CA, again, mine needs work, but you get the concept, then you'll just get the CA after the trade situation. Even if you mess the CA, CA up, you've not always lost because you still got the knockdown and you did it without risking anything. You did the like it tattoo into VTC. VTC makes the option safe, but on trade, your VTC doesn't come out, you get a knockdown. So it's not all bad, to be fair. But obviously the key here is, is get the clean CA input after you do VTC, get the combo. So a, a difficult topic in terms of concept. Sorry, should I say concept? Difficult topic in terms of inputs. It's very tricky, the inputs. But in concept, it's very easy to understand. So if you need me to explain that again, just drop questions in the comment section. I'll answer them, but really, I think it should be self-explanatory. Maybe I haven't explained it the best, but um, some really good Ken tips and tech there, I think. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Give it some practice and let me know how you get on with it. Hopefully, uh, you've enjoyed that video. And, um, we'll catch up soon. Take care.